All right, well, there was just recently a giant house flipper update for Halloween. It has, what happened to, was this house like this? Why is this levitating? Did someone rob my house? There's freaking assault rifles laid all over the place. Oh, there's my bags of illegal rice. It's been a while since we played house flippers, so I'm not really sure in what condition I left everything. Obviously pretty bad. So there's a brand new update with all kinds of new Halloween stuff that we're gonna have to check out. What was this? Oh, this is the sauna room. This seems like something I would do. I don't specifically remember putting a bunch of bunnies with knives sitting around the sauna, but that seems like something I might do. So in the new update, we are levitating. Why am I lev- Oh, I'm caught on the friggin' ladder. Dude, we, we have a new house that we can buy. My realtor just called me and he said, Hey, Gray, I need you to flip a house. The only issue is, is that the bodies of the sad people are buried underneath and it's causing tons of hauntings. And my theory behind that is, who cares? It's capitalism. We'll take out our hammer. We'll take out the squeegeeinator, 25,000. We'll get up in there. We'll beat the crap out of some ghosts and we'll make that dollar. So right over here... Let's see, House of the Flood, Main Generations, Boring House, <laughs> Variable Woman. I still need to buy that one day because I'm really curious. But here it is, Samarta Myers House. Is this name mean anything to you guys? I mean, Myers means something, but how about this? That's gotta be the name of like someone. That was not Michael Myers' mother's name. Wasn't her name, oh, I don't remember her mo his mother's name. The sister was Judith, right? Now I'm trying to remember. Let's see what it has to say about this. It's got three floors. That's pretty legit. A big, a beautiful big house in the backcountry for sale. A lucky strike for people who value silence, peace, and want to take a rest from the city noise and other people's company. Just think, only you, your house, and the nature around you, as well as the screams of all those that were skinned and slaughtered inside of the place. It was abandoned many years ago and it needs a complete overhaul, but in the right caring hands, it will become a, it will become a, right, that doesn't scroll down. That doesn't scroll down either. Huh? What? Wait, what? Sure, whatever. It will become a true gem. We advise superstitious people not buy it. I'm leaving that off of uh, the ad when we post it. Well, we're going to buy this immediately. You have a new house. Absolutely. We've got some cash on us. It's not a, whoa, it's dark outside. So... Supposedly, everything is different in about this house. I guess the house is in like perpetual night. And oh look, it's I don't remember what's the what's that one guard gnome? Remember the cartoon? It's like Steve the guard gnome or something like that. He's just looming over there looking at us. I'm kind of curious exactly what's up with the house. It kind of looks like there's someone looking at us. See that right there? Is that a lamp? Or is that a person that looks like a lamp? So I don't know. I guess you just kind of go. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> the door's open and closing on its own, on its own volition. But it, I feel like I'm tiring the ghost out. Like this poor ghost is like, would you just pick a toy? Just either come in the haunted house or go away. I kind of wonder what's around. <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh, <laughs> what? This was not the same guard gnome. This guard gnome is bleeding out of his eyes and mouth and hands. You, can you pick this guard gnome up? Oh, you can! I could take this buddy with us. We could get, we could keep him. I want him to be staring at me the whole time. Here, everyone. What is that? Is that the dripping of the blood of everyone this guard gnome has slain? It sounds like it is. All right, before we go inside, I was going to say, let's go ahead and let him close the door for us. We have to look around the entire property because there's... There's something going on in there. I don't know if it's like a leaky faucet or what, but there's a thing where... Why did the door just open from way over here? There is a coffin sitting out in the backyard. Oh my God, you can use it. What do you do with this? Oh, you could bear... Oh no, we're not doing that yet. I'm not even, I'm not even going near that. We need to check the house out first. Look at this. There's like all these different pieces all over. I'm gonna leave those there. We'll, we'll deal with that in a second. Look at what's on the wall! <laughs> Is that the mask from Scary Movie? It looks like the mask from Scary Movie on the wall. Hold on, let's go. Let me go past our- He changed position! Look at this! Remember the garden gnome we turned him so he's facing up? This dude has a- this night has a mind of its own. He's like, go ahead, Gray. Why don't you step on in to the house of sadness? All right. Okay. He's- hold on. This is so weird. He turned to look at us. Oh, well, I guess I can do my job. What? Well, really? It closed the door once we got in. This is pretty slick. They're they're really messing with you in this door. There's a bunny. <laughs> they put a bunny in here. I wish they would have put a knife on him. 
We got the ring girl in the TV over here. We can, that's not the same face. Wasn't it, wasn't it the scary movie? Don't we have a light here? There you go. Oh, it's like the murder light. It flickers, you gonna get epilepsy. No, that's a different face. Oh. What the hell? Does it? Ch I'm gonna look at, we'll deal with this later. Let me move all my stuff around here. What do we have in here? Got some more trash. I'm gonna start cleaning this as we kind of look around, but I'm really curious what we're gonna find in this house. This house is clearly haunted and you, yeah, that's a basement. We're not going down there yet. You gotta be kidding me. That's last. You know the basement's last. All right, we're gonna cut the pie here because I have the feeling we're gonna have just guts and entrails dripping on us. It always comes from the ceiling, doesn't it? If you go inside, go closer. Does something happen? Okay, it looks like everything's fine. There's trash to remove. Yeah, you shut up, Smoth family. I'm I'm exercising the demons. Give me a friggin' break. Okay. So up here we have a we have a door and Oh no. There are there are legs in the doorway of that room. There are no NPCs in House Flipper. I'll bet it's like a severed body. Like, it's just the bottom torso. It wouldn't be a full person, right? Because like I said, we've never seen an NPC in House Flipper. Is there anything else in here? Just a bunch of urine and fecal material. All right, let's check it out. Oh. Oh, it's a woman! Oh, no! Wait, ma'am! Ma'am, we're fine! What happened there? She disappeared! The lady's gone! She vanished into the nether realm! Was that- was that the- That's not the girl from Poltergeist. Maybe that's the girl from Poltergeist when she grows up. I don't know what happened. Can we- can we fade into the nether realm? If we crouch down over here? I thought there was maybe like a poor- Oh, you know what we need to look for as well? I'm getting off track. I'm like a friggin' squirrel because there's so much going on. We need to look around and make sure that there's no hidden rooms. Because this is a house that would have hidden rooms. I guarantee it. Is there any freaking hauntings going on in here? Now I'm now I'm paranoid about every single room. Hello? See how it just saved just now? That means something. Man, there is just... There is just people's ex entrails and extrails all over the place. There's another bunny in here. What is this bunny in here for? What is this room? That goes to the bathroom, so that's not a hidden room. Doesn't look like there's any hidden rooms up top. Yeah, see, this is the bathroom, right? Isn't it? Hold on. Yeah, and this is the other, this is the bunny room. I'm floating. All right. Is there anything hidden down here? That's that room. This is the outside. There's a body in the backyard. No, it doesn't look like there's anything. Okay, it wants us to go downstairs and the bunny's looking straight at it. It's leading us downstairs. What was that? Something just opened or closed. You're coming, you're coming with me. We're not doing this alone. You stand guard. Okay, right next to the bunny. You and your, you and your lupine friend. Right there. If I turn toward you, you're gonna be, you look in a different direction. All right, everyone's, what is that? Did you just hear like our breath? I don't think I ever heard a breath sound from the, what is this? What happened? Oh, oh my flashlight. My flashlight, my flashlight's back. Oh my God. There is a dude chowing down on Santa Claus on the wall. What? Wait. There was an opening here. What happened to this? Yeah, look look on the mini map on the upper right hand corner. There's a friggin' opening. What a bunch of lies. You can't tell me there's no opening here. All right. The sledgehammer Thor master is coming out. I'm not dealing with this. What was that? Was that? Did you hear that? Hold on. What the hell was that? It sounded almost like a growl, but it sounded like we were fixing the wall. No. Where? Are you? How do you? There we go. You're not keeping me out of this room. I want to know what's in here now. This is one of the secret rooms. Uh. Oh, and we got to clean up uh, some of this trash over here. I don't I don't like the way it was looking at me. Yes, there's a secret room. I knew it. It's the bodies. It's the sadness. Could you like dig? That'd be cool if you could dig. Oh, God in heaven. It is 
Is this Attack on Titan? Isn't that what people were saying? Isn't it like a Titan chewing someone's head off their body? That's what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up your room here, Mr. Titan, because quite honestly, it looks like crap. Can you sledgehammer your way down? No, you cannot. Also, I'm really glad that we saw that there was an opening here because it is gone now. And uh, I mean, I'm glad that they allow you to like punch your way in because you can't punch in from this wall, which is really weird. And then look at this. It looks like there's a hidden area right over here behind the staircase. I thought you couldn't, I thought you couldn't hit staircases. So if you smash this, oh, it's a wall. It's a legit wall. There's something behind here. Okay, what is it? Come on. Come on, I want, I want to feel the fear. People pay for this. I'm getting it for free. Get out of the way. It's Edgar Allan Poe's hidden writing room. That's what it looks like anyway. You know what? Let's, let's be armed while we walk in here. I feel like this is a bad idea. Oh, it's just a book. It's a book and an extra painting. Right over here, we have a selfish jack wagon eating the last bit of gruel. Well, this skeleton man is like, thanks a lot. I invited you over for dinner and you let me starve to death. And that right there, everyone, is the spirit of Halloween. If I pick this book up, is a, is a spirit gonna get really annoyed? Oh no! The table went away! Well, I'm gonna pretend everything was just fine. All right, well, we, this, this opening's still here, right? Okay, good. We've cleaned up the, ba the uh, basement. How much are these paintings worth? I don't wanna sell them. $10, really? This wasn't here before I closed up. <laughs> $10, this is tripping me out. We gotta get out of here. This is like being drunk down here. Hold on, I've had enough of this. Tell me your vision goes back to normal. Oh, thank you God, when you get out of here. All right, Mr. Garden Gnome, you gonna look at me if I go, yep, he's gonna turn to look at me. So now we can finally mess with the body in the backyard. Is there like any other bodies out here? It doesn't look like there is. It's not really a night, it's like a Twilighters. So if you go over here, what'd it say? Pick up shovel, okay? Hold to dig. Oh, it's a little house flipper mini game. It's just like um, when we have to uh, like plaster in walls and stuff like that. I didn't. I don't think that that burying dead people. Now you can plant the plant as part of our job. Hold a plant the plant. It's not a plant. It's a person. <laughs> Insert the coffin. It goes right in. Put soil around coffin. Oh my God. We just put. <laughs> We won. We beat the game. Eternal light is over. We brought peace and, and serenity to the land. There is no neighborhood here. This is literally just a street with only us on it. Cool. I guess now we can go and check out the rest of the house without being molested. We still have to clean it up a little bit. Don't get me wrong. Like I left a lot of random goo all over the place, but luckily the squeegeinator 45,000 can clean anything, including, you know, Juice and wine, uh, pancreatic fluids, perhaps. It looks like there may be a piece of giblet behind this cabinet right over here. I don't really feel, I'm just gonna throw it right in the hallway. It's not, I, I like the fact that we don't, like, you can't throw out your back or anything like that in this game because I get the feeling that lifting all these giant items that we're lifting, like alone, is probably bad. Like, that looks really heavy. You can imagine maybe that we have like a hand truck or something, but it still looks pretty bad. And now that we've exercised the demons, I think that it's a perfect time to do story time with Gray, where I talk to you about the things I've done in my life so that you can go ahead and not duplicate them. Because if you do, you've got a good chance at getting injured or having some other negative thing. Oh, the TV's off and everything like that. You notice. That's kind of interesting. Like this, that's a TV. So that's how that work. Oh, <laughs> so that's how that works. You just have to move off the screen slightly and the little face over there changes itself. So today we're going to talk a little bit about a Halloween story and something that my friend and I did that probably could have gotten someone killed, but luckily everyone turned out to be just fine. So one of my good friends had a house uh, back when we were kids that his family had this house like on the top of a hill uh, and it was like the tallest hill in the area. So his house was like the most prominent. And what's weird is it was like a really, really 
steep hill. Like, I don't know if it would be up to code nowadays or what, but you, I feel like you wouldn't be able to get away with it because it was super steep. Like, I remember trying to foot, you know, climb up that hill uh, with my feet and feeling like I was going to die. Now, if you, if you could go in your car and you just drive up the hill, then, you know, there, there he had a, he had a, uh, a driveway and then you would be fine. But for everyone else, you know, like when I, you're a young kid and you're a schlep, you're walking. So every year, because his house was the most prominent... Okay, so back then, I don't know if you guys have this, we had a thing called Goosey Night, which is where kids used to go out and they would throw toilet paper at people's trees and houses. Hey there, demonic buddy. And they would throw toilet paper and stuff at people's houses and in their trees, and they would egg the houses and just be general nuisances. So his house... Because he had, let me get rid of these. This may freak some people out. It doesn't bother me that much, but like I said, I wouldn't really be so happy to be just walking all over these things. So his house used to get toilet papered and egged every single year because you could see it and everyone went, you know, all the kids would be like, oh, look at what we did. So one year he was like, hey, can you help me? I want to go in my garage, black out the garage. And he had, um, like, like two water spigots. It was the weirdest thing. So we were gonna hook two hoses up so that we could both both blast kids with the water hose when they came up that hill to go to go, you know, egg the house or whatever. And I told him, I was like, I was like, you know what would be even better? Let's make your grass all watery, all wet, so that it's even slicker. And he was like, Oh, that's a great idea. Now, again, we were young, so this would be a ter- Don't do this to people. It's a terrible idea to do right now. So it was dark, like as dark as it gets. There's no moonlight out. It was freaking crazy. And he, there's kids coming up and they're going to go toilet paper the house. And we're sitting there in the garage, pitch black. And they get up in like at the top of the hill where the grass is. And both him and I are just like, from inside of the garage and just start hosing the kids down. Now, obviously, getting smashed by water is freaky enough, but also the screaming, like, made the kids think that they were getting freaking abducted or something, probably. And they went flying down this big, long front hill that my buddy had in his front. His front yard was huge. His backyard was really big, too. And they just slid down like a water slide, like, tumbling into the roadway. And we're like, got him! And we did that like all night long. Kids would come up and just get hosed down and go flying. Down. Now, I say kids. I mean, we were young too. So you, you, you know what I'm talking about. So when I look back at this retroactively, I realize that it's very easy for us to hose a kid and have them go into the roadway and then subsequently get hammered by a car. We gonna be Peyton this place i don't we're not gonna paint it with the squeegeenator that would be pretty amazing though what what style of orange is this is this the appropriate oh yeah that's halloween orange if ever i done seen it the moral of the story is don't go and hammer kids with water down a big hill that steep and ends into the roadway because you could probably get someone hurt or killed see it there you go youtube that's isn't that nice that's the that's the the monetization uh theme of, of the day of course looking back on this it's you know it's their fault because who goes to toilet papers houses do you guys still do that in the comment section you guys are gonna have to let me know first off if you have goosey night or whatever you want to call it like i said up north that's what we called it do you guys, like, legitimately still have this? Do you guys still do this kind of stuff? And if you do, were you ever one of those people that egged or toilet papered the houses? Or if you weren't, were you one of the people that defended the houses from getting egged and toilet papered? And tell me a story about when you did such a thing. Either one side or the other. Because let me tell you something. There was, I mean, there, these are vandals, understand, but there was some vandals that really made some works of art in their toilet paper. Like, they toilet papered names up there. Ah, oh, crap, I ran out of... Ah, uh, you know what? I think we're gonna make this two-tone. Do we have pitch black paint? Well, that... Bloody red. It doesn't look like red at all! Th there we go, that's what I'm talking about. But yeah, there was people, like, putting their names 
in toilet paper and stuff like that. And you know what? I gotta give you props. If you're if you're a vandal, but you're a hard-working vandal, I, I have to live you know give some amount of respect to that. You're still a scumbag for toilet papering my buddy's house, but uh, you know, at least you made it look good when you did it. Same thing with the trees. They would they love to toilet paper the trees, and you would get trees that looked like they were decorated for Christmas. The toilet paper almost looked like garland. Like there was that crazy. This looks pretty hot so far. I'm kind of oh yeah, whatever. It's a Halloween house. We do whatever we want at this point. We could probably build. I mean, we had a legitimate haunted house until we destroyed the Satan that was inside or whatever, but we could probably make this into a, like a, you know, a faux haunted house where it's not really haunted, but maybe people pay to get haunted or something. Sometimes I wonder if that's a thing. You know, people who have haunted houses, I'm not talking about like, you know, the haunted houses where, you know, you pay to go to the haunted house. I'm talking about like people whose houses actually happen to be haunted and they're sad because of it. I wonder if anyone ever attempted to make money off of that. Like, you know, they hate their life because their house is haunted, but they're like, you know what? A lot of people like haunted houses. Maybe I can charge for people to come in my house and get the crap kicked out of them by ghosts. Who knows? Maybe someone enjoys it. They're a masochist. You boys like mandarin oranges? Mm-hmm. Everyone likes mandarin oranges. They're packed full of vitamins. I think after we run through this paint can, because there's a lot of decorations that we can use in this update. I'm going to start throwing down decorations. I'm going to make it look like Halloween vomited all over this house. I'm talking like Halloween ate chicken that was sitting out on a plate for like 18 and a half hours. That kind of vomited all over the house. People are going to be like, man, Halloween must have had an upset stomach because it projectile vomited all over the place. It's going to blow chunks out the mouth and nose. That's when you know you're sick. This orange definitely gives it that feel though because I don't think anyone would paint this their, like a room this color on purpose. Maybe like a kid's room. I guess you might paint like a, can I paint this? Oh, I can't paint this wall. Well, whoop. Wait a second, can you? Does this wall count as a wall? Nope, doesn't count as a wall. This is an invincible wall. All right, good to know. I can paint this wall though. I actually hope I have enough paint to finish this off because if I don't, I'm gonna feel, yeah, we should have enough. Perfect. Oh yeah. That's the stuff. I even got the part underneath the windowsill and things like that. All right, let's start throwing down decorations, baby. First though, let's turn on this light. Oh yeah, when you put some uh, light in this house, you wouldn't even know that it's haunted. Now we have a, there's, like I said, there's a bunch of new items here that we looked at uh, slightly before. First things first, I gotta use these because they look friggin' awesome. Oh, you can buy many. What does this do? Like, can you, ju you just buy more than one? Oh. He's got hands coming out. Oh, that's the same hand though. Cause it's weird because like, oh, we could do it like that and it won't look as odd. That's legit. So buy many is sweet. It allows you to just put down stuff. What? Oh, one of the walls is painted like halfway. I had to buy a whole bucket of paint so I could do this. I mean, we could use the paint for another. Man, so you could put hands there. I don't want to smash anyone's chiclets in. So, what else can we put up there? The pumpkins get really, really big. Oh, you know what? We can put coffins down. I mean, vampires are gonna enjoy watching TV, but, oh, you know what? We should probably put this in like a, um, in a bedroom upstairs. Here, this is the room where the sad lady was, wasn't it? Yeah, she's dead after all, so she doesn't need a legitimate bed. Hold on, let's, uh, let's fix this up over here. There you go, dead people don't need beds. You get the crap. You get this coffin over here. A lot of fecal material all over the walls. I feel like I should clean this up real quick. Hold on, let me go ahead and grab this real quick. Oh, oh this is plaster. We need plaster for this. Yes. Let me just fill in all of the organ spray. That was, wow, I plaster fast. I forget what sort of speed I'm on when I plaster. There is still one cavity left. There you go, all your cavities are freshly filled. I hope you're happy there, Smoth family, or whatever your name is. Hey, hey everybody. It's Gray Still Play. And we're back with some more House Flipper, where we're here filling up cavities. That's what we do. We fill up cavities real smooth. 
lot of people don't even know. Do you have a back of the head? You do. I'm gonna put you right there. I wanna put like a bunch of, oh yeah, oh. Uh, it's not really orange, but it'll do. Can I fit this here? Oh, it's perfect. Yes, right there. Because what we can do, I think we can shove some pumpkins in there. Uh, maybe the small pumpkins, buy many. Yes. Perfect. There you go. Look at all that light. It's flipping out over there. This guy enjoys it. He's pretty happy about it. That would probably drive me crazy. So I think we could turn all these off just like right now. This right here. Perfect. There we go. Okay, now we've got all the pumpkins set up. We do have these heads over here. Can you put this on the... Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Yes. Hold on. Yes. Right there. Looking out. What does that look like? Hold on. I need to know. Does it look pretty good? Like, does it look like, yes, look, his head is peeking over. Can you light the candle? Cause you see how there's like a candle in the back of his skull? Can you, can you mess with it? Oh, you can't. It's just kind of lingering there. How about this skeleton? Can I put you in the window? Oh, you can't. What do you do? Oh, you just hang him on the wall. We could put him here so that as people are coming in, they're going to close the door and they think they're going to be getting assaulted by Mr. Bones over here. So they're going to be flipping out. More random heads in the window. I think you could probably put like a bat or something in the window too because we have like hanging you over here. Yeah, look at this. Like a traffic, it says a hat, but it looks like a hanging traffic cone. Let's be honest here. Okay, so we can put a bat right here, but it may be too high. I'm not sure anyone will see. Oh, you can totally see it. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah, that, that looks good. I like that. So this was the original family that used to live here. They're buried under the floorboards. Although technically there's a giant basement downstairs. So I guess they would have to be buried under the basement. There we go. Now it's, it looks like zombies are trying to steal the toilet from us. I felt like we needed at least one toilet inside of this house. Can you put tombstones out in the patio? Oh, mother of God, you can. Oh, you could probably put these anywhere. I don't know if I can get past all this is the only problem. Oh yeah. All you have to do is hop over the bodies of the sad ones and you can you can get back. Well, maybe you can. <laughs> I was gonna say you get back inside the house. We're gonna have to put sliders over here. Let me just make a little pathway. There, now you can get around all the dead bodies. Perfect. So yeah, this is the this is the previous homeowners. All of them. They're all just you know, the house is really cheap, alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw maybe a tarp over this so no one knows it's there. And we'll see if we can get top dollar for it. Look at this guy, he's like, Great, you're gonna do what? That's right, sucker! That's the plan. Now he's happy about it. He's fine. He's like, that's a good plan, Gray. It's capitalism. That's the, that's our battle cry. That's our battle cry in, in uh, House Flippers. Capitalism. How big is this big, oh, mother of God. I was gonna say, how big is the big, the big pumpkin? The big pumpkin is really, really big. Like, this is a big pumpkin. I don't even know where I can put this thing. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it right here for right now. Yeah. See, this is what spawned all the baby pumpkin. This pumpkin here is uh, asexual or whatever. See, it spawns more, it does actually technically. It has seeds in it, you plant the seeds and then you're fine. Anyway, folks, that's gonna be it for this episode of House Flippers, where we took a haunted house and we've started to make it slightly less haunted. It's probably still haunted, but we, jeez, man, you got really, you gotta be hitting up the, the, the dubs or whatever while I'm trying to go into my outro. But it's looking pretty good. There's a lot that we can do here messing around. I'm pretty happy about it. The house is pretty legit, too. Remember, guys, leave me your stories in the comment section below. I'm actually really curious about that. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.